Hey friends, it's Hope and today I am here to do a book haul for you guys and I decided to rep my New York Mets t-shirt. It was highly requested from my friend Steve over at the Lawn Gnome. We recently found out that we have a mutual interest in pro sports teams and we just so happen to both love the New York Mets and they are playing against the Yankees tonight. So it's going to be a good time and I'm hoping for a win. I am curious though if you guys have ever heard of the New York Mets. If you have, definitely let me know down below if you know who they are because I have a feeling if you're not like a huge baseball fan or if you don't live like on the East Coast you most likely don't know who they are but I may be wrong all right well enough baseball talk let's get on with this book haul I have 12 books to show you and the first one is The Martian by Andy Weir I just read this book and adored it I did a non-spoiler book review and I will link that down below but if you guys don't already know what this book is about we follow a character named Mark Watney and on his mission to Mars with his fellow astronauts a sandstorm blows in they had to abort the mission and while they were aborting the mission Mark Watney is presumed dead but he actually survived the sandstorm so now he is stuck on Mars with like 31 days of supplies to survive and the next mission that's gonna go out there is in four years so the next book I have to show you is the brief and wondrous life of Oscar Wow or whoa. Somebody let me know how to pronounce it. On Labor Day, I actually went to a thrift store and got this for a quarter. So whoop whoop for that. But I believe this story follows a young boy. He's a little bit nerdy and a hopeless romantic and he is really wanting to find love. But I think that there is like this weird curse on his family. So I think it follows him as he journeys throughout his young adulthood and finding love. And it is the winner of a Pulitzer Prize. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a really great read. The next book I have to show you is is Who Do You Love by Jennifer Weiner. Now, I believe this book follows two young eight-year-olds who meet in an emergency room one day, and I think their lives get reunited maybe like 30 or 40 years later. This is gonna sound super funny, guys, but I saw a picture of Chris Harrison, the host of the Bachelor franchise, <laughs> reading this book, and so I have a feeling it's probably going to be about love, and probably he was just more promoting it really than reading it. I don't know, maybe he was actually reading it. But this is a pretty new release. Like, I think it came out a few months ago and I found this in a thrift shop for a dollar so of course I bought it and I'm about 30 pages into it right now so far it's pretty cute I mean they're at their eight-year-old age point right now and so I haven't got to the point where they meet each other again like 30 or 40 years later the next book I have to show you is Angela's Ashes and it is by Frank McCourt this is also a winner of a Pulitzer Prize I didn't know that but pretty much one of the guys that works in the thrift store that I freak went like every week um, he told me that he was holding this book for me because he knows how much I love to read and he thought that I would really like it so of course I had to get it and it was only 50 cents I have honestly no idea what it's about maybe it takes place in the Holocaust but like I said that's just a total guess because I really don't know what it's about he did warn me though that it is a story that will probably make me cry so when I am feeling I guess in the mood for a good heartbreaking tearjerker type of book, I will pick this one up. The next three books are by the same author, and it's an author I've never read before, but I remember one of my old coworkers back in Missouri telling me that I would probably really enjoy books by Nora Roberts. And so I recently found these in a thrift shop, of course, because where else do I buy books? But yeah, so the first one I have is Vision in White, and this is book one in the Bride series, and I think maybe that there are four books in the series. I be wrong. I also have book three, Savor the Moment, and then one that I'm really excited to get to that I hopefully will get to this month is The Next Always, and this is book one in the In Boonesboro trilogy. Something that I love about these books is they all have very similar like designs. The spines look beautiful together, and they all have deckled edges, which how fun are those? But yeah, I think I got each of these books for like a quarter or 50 cents. So even though I don't know if I'm really going to enjoy her writing or not, it was definitely worth the purchase. The next book I got was purely based on how cute this cover was, and also it was part of a four for one dollar purchase. And that book 
is Committed, a love story by Elizabeth Gilbert. I do believe this is the same author as Eat, Pray, Love, and I'm assuming it's about a love story. Another one of those four for one dollar books was The Rescue, and it is by D. Henderson. Now guys, I was kind of attracted to this cover just based on how cheesy it was because I've recently found out that some of the cheesiest covers that I usually judge end up being some of my favorite, favorite books. So I was initially drawn to the cheesy cover and then the cheesy synopsis, and then I looked it up on Goodreads and it has freaking amazing Goodreads ratings. But just to tell you a little bit about this book, I think it is like the fourth or fifth book in a series, which I'm probably not going to start reading from book one, so it's whatever, but I think they are like companion novels. So I think I can just pick up this book and be okay. But it's about one of the O'Malley brothers who is a firefighter and he, I think is in a place in his life where he really doesn't feel like saving anybody anymore. But then he gets reconnected with this beautiful girl who he's known for a long time and she just so happens to need saving, if you know what I mean, because she probably has a story where she's overcoming adversity or is maybe getting mixed up with the wrong crowd. So yeah, I'm assuming they probably start falling in love and work together to fix all of her problems. Friends, hold on to your pantaloons because this next book I'm about to show you, I found for $1 at a thrift store again, and it is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I have debated so many times, like pretty much every time I go into Barnes and Noble, of buying this book because it is just so beautiful. And the whole telling the story like with different dimensions and all that stuff, I didn't know if I was actually gonna like a book like that. So that's why I've hesitated to buy the book. But for a dollar, I could not pass this up. And I'm super excited to get to this one, apparently like all the other ones in my book haul. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, blah. The next book is a Kristen Hanna book and it is The Nightingale by, of course, Kristen Hanna. Per the recommendation of my friend Tanya and a lot of other people, I finally picked up my first Kristen Hanna book not too long ago and it has made me purchase multiple Kristen Hanna books and this is the most recent one that I did purchase and I actually think this is her most current release. All I really know is this book takes place in France and I think it takes place in 1939. I think our main character's husband goes off to war and while he is away, the Germans like come and take her home or something like that. And I think she is like forced to live with the enemy. So like I said, I don't know too much other than that and it sounds pretty intense. And if it's anything like the other Chris and Hannah book I read, it is going to have the most beautiful and easy writing. So the last and final book I have to show you guys is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I initially wasn't going to purchase this book. Like most of these hardcovers that you've seen, I saw it in a thrift store for $1. So I just couldn't help myself. I have seen this all over book too just like most of you guys have probably in the past and I did look it up on Goodreads. I saw it didn't get great reviews so let me know if you guys have read this and what you guys thought. The reason why I was hesitant on picking up this book was because I did read his ugly trilogy and it just wasn't my favorite so I would love to know your guys' opinion. You guys actually helped me figure out what I'm going to read in the upcoming months. I don't know if you guys knew that but your opinion matters to me. So yeah that wraps it up for my book haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have the most wonderful day. Bye.